So guys, we got we got to talk about this for for a quick second, okay? Because the left wing, the left wing cup big companies are they cannot try to at least show like you, you know maybe you know maybe some of the things that we do or some of the things that we say maybe we're just opposing to this to this this certain mob that doesn't really give us no money. We just don't want want to seem like a a bad person to some to some of these people that gets they, that gets their feelings hurt. We don't, we we don't we don't want to seem too bad to some of these people. My thing is hi am I here's my thing and for, for some for some of you who don't don't know who I'm talking about don't know what I'm talking about um when Warner Brothers I think last year came out and said like they don't want nothing to do with JK Rowling because she said there's only two sexes a man and a woman uh, again how is that offensive that's following the science and you it's the thing and you would have some of these activist scientists saying like there's more than 15 genders and say yo there's there's a uh, there's this there's this type 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 of person there's this type of person there's this this type of person then there's this type of person but what really t- kind of takes me off is that i'm a huge fan of harry potter okay that's one of the one magical series that that i can watch over and over again and, I, and i'll get tired of it so let me read so let me uh, read out this uh post there's a story about the, from the post Molino that that uh Puts into perspective of how a creator can get back, can get freaking blackballed from their own creation because a big company made a book into a movie. If it, even though if it, if it wasn't without J.K. Rowling's vision, this movie, the Warner Brothers would not have made a lot of money off off of, of a freaking Harry Potter. So let me go ahead and read y'all this article. J.K. Rowling uh, excluded from. Harry Potter 20th uh, reunion uh, special, and if you guys don't know who who J.K. Rowling is, then I don't know. Then I don't know what's wrong with you guys. But she, but she is the person that created the Harry Potter series and the Gr- the Grindelwald uh, series. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let me go ahead and re- read out this article from from uh, the Post Millennial. J.K. Rowling, who created the Harry Potter character, the universe he inhabits, and whose imagination spawned a publishing and entertainment empire will be left out of the franchise's 20th anniversary reunion and special. The actors who made their names and their careers off of Rowling's creativity will be included, however. Rowling's exclusion is likely entirely because she believes that biological sex is an immutable reality and that women are something more than a feeling. She has stated this public- publicly, in support of women who lost their employment for also believing that science in- instead of fiction. Um, just dress however you please. Call yourself whoever you like. Sleep with any consenting adult who will have you. Live your best life in peace and security. But force women out of the jobs for saying that sex is real. Okay. Uh, I don't know what what this story is referring to. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. The reunion will, will be in the form of, of a TV special. 20 years after the release of the first film in the series. Harry Potter and, and the Sorcerer's Stone. According to Warner Brothers. Uh, Warner Brothers told the reunion in a statement saying that. Legendary cast members from all eight films will be a part of the uh, special, which will air on HBO Max. Those cast members include uh, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, which is which, which is a bona fide freaking nut, Rupert Grant, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, other characters. As regards the notable absence from a reunion about the series she created, neither Roland nor her representatives have given comments, and they stated that they they would not be commenting. Uh, commenting. Warner Brothers has also declined to comment to the Washington Post when asked. After Rowling was pu- publicly pilloried on social media for stating that she would not bow down to trans activists that sought to erode women as a political and biological class, those whose careers she literally made through her under the the public bio bus. Uh, I might be ruining it wrong. Okay, so again, she's also somebody else who, who who refuses to bow down to these. To these activists, st- stating that um, women should should be take should be the word, the word women should be taken out of the dictionary, should be taken out of, of context. Nobody should, should be saying to say should be saying woman because apparently it's offensive to the trans community. Even though a lot of trans people say they are they are women, how 
See, this is the thing. It's, it's that small portion that's always the loudest. You have people that's want to transition into a woman. They, they, they want to get called a trans woman, but then there's also some trans people that say the word woman is apparently transphobic or, or oppressive or some stupid shit like that. And now J.K. Rowling is, is, is apparently... Is apparently, you know, blackballed. She's not welcome to the reunion of her own create of her own creation. This is how these people get you. Apparently, uh, apparently, okay. So let's see what Emma Watson posted. Trans people are who they say they are and deserve to live their lives without being constantly questioned or told they aren't who they say they are. Okay. Okay. Um. I got okay. I I keep I will keep on keep on saying this in plenty of my in plenty of my videos, man. I ain't got a problem with, tra with with trans people. I really don't. But it's the entitlement of some of of some of these people that say, "Bow down to whatever I say. Call me whatever the hell I want. I could it, you 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 could not know me, but you but you will res respect what the hell I choose." See, that's the problem with, with some of these act with some of these uh, activists. They say that they are doing it for the better, but then they they want to they want to enforce people to. Do whatever the hell they want. See, like, guys, like I said, it's the entitlement that I don't like. I ain't got a problem with the LGBT T, uh, community. I, got, I ain't got a problem with the trans community. It's like the people who are always the loudest make that make these freaking communities look bad. And real activists of those communities should say, yo, yeah, we, we, we not, we not a part of that. These celebrities... They don't speak for us. We 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 don't want them. Nobody asks for their damn opinion. We don't. They 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 just doing this for clout. We don't want them. We not we not those those freaking deranged people. We are we are we are people who just want to live in peace. What these activists are doing that's this this is not living in peace. Okay, this is what some people in 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 that, in that same community should do. But why some of them are not coming out? I'm be, I mean I'm pretty sure some of them are coming out. They're just not being really rec uh, really recognizable. But uh, Daniel shared his opinion uh, via the, the Trevor Project, saying transgender women are women. Any statement to the contrary erases the identity and dignity of transgender people and goes against all advice given by professional healthcare associates who have far more expertise on the, on this sub on this subject more than either Joe or I. Again, it's act it's activist science scientists. They're not actually in it to actually find out find a good cause or find something good about. A certain group of people, they're in it just to say, yeah, these biological men are women. Men can men can have periods. I've like for real. I, I've I've seen that somewhere. I'm pretty sure it was, it was, it was somewhere on our freaking liberal Twitter. But guys, the fact that uh, the fact that uh, Warner Brothers is, is excluding J.K. Rowling from her own project just just goes to show that a hey, your creation and your imagination may have given have, may have given us all these millions, these billions of dollars, but if you if you don't follow this certain narrative, you are not welcome here. We don't care if it was you if it was you who gave us all this money, you're not welcome here. You can you can take your uh, transphobic ass on somewhere and, try, and and do your own special and see and see how we care, guys. That's my thing. Disney, Warner Brothers. They're both they're both the same thing. They're both they're both pandering to to a to a certain demographic, and that demographic does not give them no money. Prime example, Mulan. People hate people people hated Mulan. People hate people hated uh, Captain Marvel. This is kind of messed up of how Warner by how Warner Brothers and HBO is doing J.K. Rowling, even though she's the one who brought this company all the, all the millions, man. She brought she brought them all these millions. All these movies, this series by itself, she made all these actors and and all these actors richer, noticeable because of the Harry Potter series. First of all, Emma Watson has become a a full fledged I'm a, I'm my own sexual partner type of feminist. I don't know what the hell is going on with, with Emma Watson, man. But this chick is is nuts, and it, it just goes to show that if you bring a a certain company a lot of money. If you say something that goes against the woke mob, they will outcast your ass real quick, man. It's sad. It really is that Warner Brothers and HBO is doing this to 
J.K. Rowling, and she brought and she brought forth the Harry Potter series that everybody loves worldwide. Everybody loves Harry Potter. That's that, that's that's a bunch of a music a music parks that's named after Harry Potter. Guys, this is crazy as hell. How, how the hell can you just do uh, J.K. Rowling like like this? But I'm just one opinion, guys. If you guys like what I'm saying, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I will see you on the next one. Peace.